basic digiscoping for spawning scopes. Before you consider digiscoping, there's a few things you should make note of. The size of the objective lens determines the amount of light that can enter your spawning scope. This is known as the aperture of your scope. The optical construction and material used for lenses and mirror inside the spawning scope. The quality of your spawning scope eyepiece. And finally, the number of customizable features for your camera, the overall quality of your camera, and your personal photographic know-how. Of course, other things to make note of is the environment and weather conditions of where you're going to do your digiscoping. There are a number of ways to attach your camera to the spawning scope. The most popular way is using an universal camera holder adapter for point and shoot cameras. Another way is to attach an SLR camera adapter with a T-ring. Luckily, some of Olivon's newer scopes allow you to attach your camera and T-ring directly onto the eyepiece. Make sure your tripod is strong enough for the weight of your tripod head, spawning scope, and camera together. Extend the sunshade in bright conditions to help deter glare. We hope that this video has helped you on one of your first steps into digiscoping. Thank you for watching.